Well, this is sure becoming a tradition. Every week, it comes to Sunday night, and I have two videos to make about my two football teams that I root for. And one is very high-spirited, and one is very low-spirited. But this one's the high-spirited one, so let's get it going. Got a bunch of little notes scrapped down here, so let's get to it. Washington Husky football is 4-0 for the first time since 2001. Um, people didn't think we could beat a team in the Pac-12 like Arizona, and we proved that we could. 31-13 to last night. Um, Keith Christ, who's been great for us so far this season, wasn't quite that good. I mean, the 77% the completion percentage definitely came down. Uh, he was 14-25 of 25 for 165 yards, two touchdowns and an interception, giving him nine touchdowns and two interceptions in the first four games of the season. Um, he only got the ball to five different receivers, which is not, which is unlike our new offense, our new ups, up tempo, uh, spread the ball offense. Um, but hey, you know, we got the win and he was good when he had to be. Bishop Sankey is the man of the hour. 40 carries, 161 yards and a touchdown. There are very few running backs in college football that can handle the workload of 40 carries. And don't get me wrong, I don't want to see Bishop Sankey with 40 carries every week. But when you have to, when it's a rainy, sloppy day uh, weather like it was last night for that game, and you have to run the ball effectively... That's what you need to be able to do, and Bishop Sankey really came through, and he's back to leading the nation in rushing yards per game. Um, Travis Coons, I want to take a note of the kicker. How about it? He missed two extra points. One was a high snap, wasn't his fault. One he just hooked, and of course it's terrible. It's not acceptable. But let me just note that he's doing kicking and uh, kick field goal kicking, extra point kicking, and punting. He made a field goal in the in the elements, which we really needed at the time. And all five of his punts were downed inside the 20-yard line. That's spectacular. It doesn't get much better than that. Field position battle, you need to be able to do that. Um, I thought our defense played spectacular. I, did, I mean, I just thought our defense was spectacular. We didn't get up a first down to Arizona until the second half. I mean, second quarter. This is a team that is not, you know... A slouch. This is not. This is not a slouch team on offense, especially. Um, I was impressed by Arizona's running back, Kadeem Carey. I was not impressed by their their line blocking for him. He did most of his work on his own, and I was not impressed by B.J. Denker, their starting quarterback. He, to be honest, we probably should have been a lot closer this game uh, than the thirty-one thirteen score suggests. He missed a lot of. Uh, open, especially slant routes and quick slants that he just didn't hit. Um, early on, it looked like the Huskies were going to absolutely destroy. We got a pick, and they went three and out on third down. Their third offensive player is only got picked by Sean Parker. We went down and promptly scored on, I think, a two or three play touchdown drive. Uh, did miss the extra point. That was a high snap one, but it looked like we were just going to take over. We didn't really. Went flat into the half, but as it's been happening all season, Came out in the third quarter and righted the ship and made sure that we got the win. 31-13, as I said. Uh, the penalties were still there. That's another uh, negative from this game. Seven penalties for 75 yards. As you know, we came into the game leading the country in penalty yards, and I don't think we're going to fall behind with 75 this week. Uh, this has got to be fixed. This has got to be fixed. I will say it wasn't, it wasn't bad timing penalties because it wasn't... Really, many penalties that stuck out stood out to me. But regardless, you can't have seven penalties for 75 yards every week. Uh, 409 yards of offense is low for us, but that's okay. Two picks on defense was really a, a, a good sight to see, and both of them were nice. Uh, Sean Parker, the first one, I think he has three on the season now. Um, it was a, it was a total overthrow by Denker, but Parker could have just been snoozing, but he was alert, picked it off, and the second one was even better. Marcus Peters just outwilled the wide receiver for Arizona, and picked it off. Um, that basically sealed the game. Two hundred forty-four yards rushing. That's the biggest. That's the, that's the, that's the stat that gets the biggest smile out of me, especially when, of course, we're facing a 
completely different uh, front front seven next week in Stanford. But regardless, last year we ran on Stanford. This year, I'm confident we can do it again. Oh boy, it's going to be a big game. Number 5 versus number 15 is big regardless, but this is just a huge game. Because we're not getting the respect that we deserve. I'm just going to be honest. We're not getting the respect we deserve. And that's that's a fact. The fact that people on ESPN are still saying that Stanford has a quick, easy road, and Stanford and Oregon have an easy road to their respective bowl games. The only the only hic- the only uh, hiccup in their schedule, if you will, the only tough one is each other. And you know, I would be thrilled. Nothing would thrill me more in the world of sports than for us to go and beat both of those teams and show the critics. Hey, you forgot about us. However, it's not to focus on Oregon right now. The focus is Stanford. We get them on Saturday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And I shouldn't have to say that it's a big game again. Obviously, it's a big game. We beat them last year on our home field. This time, we have to go down there to Palo Alto. I expect us to win. Got a good win against Arizona, 31-13, as I said. Um, good to start off Pac-12 play with a win and stay undefeated, of course. Anytime you can get a win, it's nice. We still have not had any of our wins by less than 10. So we've won all our game by double digits. We still have not trailed in a game this season. That could Both of those could change on Saturday. But the point is getting a win against Stanford. Good win against Arizona to start the season in some tough conditions, especially with a lot of recruits were there watching the game. Um, some college football notes. USC fires Lane Kiffin. About time they did that uh, after they lost to Arizona State. And it kind of scares me that Steve Sarkeesian is in a discussion as their next coach, as he's our head coach. But uh, hopefully he doesn't bite. That's all for this video. Now it's time to move on from the win. Celebrate, but move on and focus on Stanford this week. Let's go Huskies.